Some of the most difficult things to create as a game developer and a character artist are human faces. This is one of the most difficult elements to get right in digital art, because it's very easy to notice when there is something wrong or some details that don't look quite right. But 3D scanning can help you capture faces, bodies and more at a high level of precision. For example, in the game Hellblade Ninja Theory Studios team scanned the main character's face down to the microscopic details in addition to facial expressions. Another important part of game development is creating props and assets. In general, this is where the power of 3D scanning really shines. Instead of manually modeling objects of your video game, you can scan your assets and enjoy an unparalleled level of detail. Today, 3D scanning is an integral part of any game production pipeline, or at least a good portion of the game development industry. For example, in Metal Gear Solid 5, the team scanned all the materials used in the production such as rocks, bricks, metal, etc. In addition, environments in particular are a hard thing to get right from a design standpoint. It turned out that real life is very detailed, and the distribution of objects isn't as uniform as you think. Scanning can help you either make the reference to start working from your environment, or you can incorporate some portion of it in your work so that the scanned environment will be alongside the modeled assets. It is through this hybrid workflow that game developers like to stand, because when you have enough environment elements, the player doesn't feel completely alienated, but on the other hand, it gives a lot of room for artistic choices. In addition, you can repurpose your environment scans. Environments in particular are hard to get right. They require a huge amount of details and modeling in addition to references and measurements. With 3D scanning, you can easily and accurately have 3D representations of your environments and the ability to create exact copies of locations and assets which has significantly reduced the time and cost of production and provided much more realistic games. Video game developers and studios in general are trying to create the most realistic games and pump up the graphics each release and each generation. And with what is going on right now, game developers are required and expected to deliver extremely realistic experiences. Also, people now are more than ever aware of the content quality between games, and better quality games are not just about faster frame rates with superior graphics because they are also about making the right choices and art direction. In short, it's about the most efficient way to achieve the best result. For example, the PlayStation 2 was the first console to utilize 3D scanning in its games. The game American Major League Football, produced by Sony Computer Entertainment, took advantage of 3D scanning to create their players and make the game look more realistic. They scanned about 1400 players, but the process itself wasn't that time consuming as the team spent only 19 seconds scanning each player. 3D scanning in video games is also extremely helpful when it comes to saving time, because when you cut the need for manual modeling of assets and characters, you gain a lot of time focusing on other areas of the production pipeline. So instead of hiring hundreds of artists to create assets, characters and environments using 3D scanning, you can reduce the time it takes starting from concept art to game ready assets, so you can scan any object or prop you want and then modify it digitally as you see fit. You can do that instead of modeling everything manually from scratch. Speaking of 3D scanning, our sponsor of today's video is Polycam. This powerful app will allow you to easily perform 3D scans for anything you want. You can edit and process your scans directly on your phone and either export them to any of the numerous formatted offers or share them directly to Sketchfab for example. Polycam works on iOS and recently the long-awaited Android version is released so everyone can enjoy the power of photo scanning on any smartphone device. Furthermore, there is also a Polycam web application for people who want to use their computer for photo scanning. Polycam has two modes, photo and LiDAR mode. The LiDAR mode requires a device with a LiDAR sensor like an iPhone 12 or Galaxy S20. The photo mode on the other hand is available for all devices. The LiDAR mode also comes with a lot of extremely powerful features such as turning your scan to a top-down floor plan or extend the scan where you can literally continue the scanning where you left off to expand the scanned area. Also the ability to crop unwanted areas in the scan right from the app, just to name a few of the things it can do. The Pro version also supports the ability to export a plethora of different formats such as FBX, OBJ, DAE, GLTF and more. The photo mode, while much slower and requires taking a lot of photos from different angles, it allows you to convert your photos into 3D models using photo scanning algorithms. And for photo mode, you don't need an iPhone or an iPad with LiDAR scanner. And it is great to use for scanning highly detailed objects and scenes. 
If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.